before I discuss dumb football drama, I would like to send a shout out to Peyton Hillis. He is currently hospitalized after saving his two kids from drowning in Pensacola, Florida on Wednesday. Obviously a heroic act by him and his kids are doing uh, just fine. He seems to have saved them very well. Obviously uh, such a huge thing from him. As of now, the last that I knew about, he is still in critical condition, but is reportedly doing better. Now I'm not sure what doing better constitutes, but I guess in anything that's doing better than when he was first brought in is, I guess, that's better news than bad news. Uh, we're all rooting for him to pull through, obviously, and just hopefully that he can come out of this better than he was, and, you know, just a, obviously, a, a heroic act by him. There's not much else I can say about it, just uh, besides that we're rooting for him and that we really hope he pulls through, and what a selfless act uh, that he did to save his kids from drowning. That's, that's honestly amazing. Okay, now on to dumb football drama with Jadavian Clowney. So a Cleveland.com article by Mary Kay Cabot yesterday had quotes from him saying that he's 95% done with the team. More on that in a little bit. Uh, he cited the team's lack of putting him in situations to succeed and needing to be somewhere that believes in him because he felt the organization no longer does. Uh, he also alluded to there being a lot of changes next year to the defense, but he didn't really get into any of the specifics. A lot of Browns fans, myself included, kind of, uh, you know, wishful thinking, jumping to maybe that means Joe Woods is uh, getting the can after this. Criticizing the Browns for apparently prioritizing Miles Garrett's matchups over his, trying to get him as, as many sacks as possible, which I, I guess that's... I guess that's his gripe with the organization, and he showed his frustrations on this by opting to only play on third downs in their loss in Baltimore. Uh, the article quotes also seem to indicate that he thinks, or at least he's saying, that the Browns uh, had some vendetta against him not wanting to outperform Miles Garrett, and that he could have had at least 10 sacks this year if uh, things went differently and they game-planned him the right way, I guess. Uh, today, the, these did not go over well, obviously, in the locker room as Clowney was sent home from practice today. So that 95% chance of him being gone looks to have increased to a full 100% chance. I don't think we'll see Jadavian Clowney in a Browns uniform ever again, including uh, against on this game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Stefanski saying that he didn't make a decision on his playing status. He didn't disclose what it was, but uh, if I was a betting man, and I kind of am a little bit, but if I was def if I was like hardcore into betting, I would bet a lot of money on Jadavian Clowney sitting out on this one if that was a thing you could do. Uh, Miles Garrett saying in response to this that he wants volunteers and not hostages, basically telling him that, look, if you don't want to be here, then just leave as far as Jadavian Clowney's quotes. Quotes, excuse me, quotes? I don't think, I don't think that's a word. Uh, but this just seems like really odd timing for this. I, I think that's, that's kind of my initial reaction. Why uh, make this comment with only one week left if he truly just is disgruntled and wants to leave then just deal with it for one more week uh, leave in for agency and then you don't you don't have to deal with the Browns organization ever again why burn this bridge now this late into the season I kind of have a hunch I don't have any insider information I'm not I'm obviously not hanging out with the Javian Clowney I'm not in his head I'm not a psychiatrist or anything uh, but r right now, his stats are looking pretty dis disappointing, even when you factor in the time he missed with an injury. And his numbers doesn't justify his paycheck, which is kind of a, a recipe for his next deal to take a huge pay cut and be on a prove-it deal, which I don't think Jadavian Clowney is very interested in being on at this point in his career. That's not what he wants. I think this is his way of trying to uh, shape the narrative into this being a organization and or a coaching staff problem as to why his... Uh, statistics are down and why he should still get a he should still get the the kind of contract that he got with the Browns this year but next year with a different team because like he said in the article he does at least he's saying he thinks he could have gotten at least 10 sacks if uh, they would game plan with him correctly or something like that I feel like this is mostly just kind of silly quotes at the end of the year but overall yeah this is just a a rotten cherry of drama on top of a spoiled season that was also full of drama these Jadavian Clowney quotes are meaningless and I hope by this video if the Jadavian Clowney stuff brings you in what I t what I hope you take from this video is that Peyton Hillis is a hero for saving his kids from drowning uh I the Jadavian Clowney stuff is just kind of news so thank you all for watching if you made it this far into the video I will see you at the next one